Hey guys, Sharky Shark here. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we are here in Tokoboka World reviewing the Creative Workshop Furniture Pack. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into this. Looks like we have five new display kind of furnitures right here. A little bit of a storage thing as well. Pretty cool. We have a few shelves here as well, along with this hanging one. Looks like you can put up some pictures up there. Pretty cool. We have three new rugs right here. We have an apple one, very nice art paint one, and this colorful one over here. We have a really nice big storage unit right there and a lot of um, paintings, sketches, um, this really nice cool kind of colored board right here with a lot of colors on it really nice this pack is definitely all about um design creativity um sketches digital drawings um pottery um it's really really exciting and very different we have a lot of new messy paints and stuff really cool to kind of spice it up and make it look like it is a art studio or something that's pretty nice we have three tables right here we have kind of like an art painted one we have this kind of like um white sheet one um it looks really cool it looks like you could do a lot of work on there and we also have a cleaner kind of tile one with a green that looks really nice too i love these three new chairs this one right here moves up and down we have this cute little seat right here and also a watermelon one we have seven different lights right here we have two variation colors of these hanging ones we have a beautiful colorful one right there we have a more artistic kind of standing spotlight one which looks really nice and a few desk ones and a ring lamp too I always love the plants in these packs. We have five right here. The hanging one has to be my favorite. I absolutely love that one. We haven't had a hanging plant like that looks really nice and can fit into other builds for a while. Um, but yeah, these are really cute. We have this cute eraser plushie, a pencil plushie, a nice vase, and a bunch of color cards. If a character holds this, they open out all of the colors right there. Really cool. We have this really big dog statue, um, some stepping ladders, a border, and an easel right there too. With more of the technical stuff and the digital art, we have this kind of cool um, art pad right here with the computer. We have a new phone, this kind of keyboard um, pad thing. We have a mic and a camera. We also have a lot of items right here as well, a lot of stationary stuff. We got some drawings which can actually change. We got a new kind of notepad, a pencil sharpener, new eraser, some other kind of bits and bobs here too. And it looks like these are some new kind of ink pens right here too. And a lot of new pencils and pens in here as well. Okay, these duck plushies are the cutest thing in the pack. What the hell? These are so cute. I love them. Especially this one. He's kind of like laying on his back. It's so cute. I love it. We have three new frames right here and it's really cool that we're able to swap out and put some of these posters in here to make them look like actual um, pictures in the frame. That is really nice. I like that. Instead of it just being like one picture, one frame and sticking to that it gives a lot more freedom to be able to, you know, design different frames and pictures. But one of the main highlights of this pack is this thing right here. Obviously, we can add our own pictures to those frames. We can pick between these kind of like paint brushes right here. We can have a spray painter pick our colors by tapping on these red. We can also pick the size of the paint as well. And we can just draw our own thing. That is so cool. So there is a location in the game, um, which is the after school club thing. Um, if you don't have that, then this pack would be really great to have because um, there is kind of like a similar thing in that pack in that location where you can kind of draw um there's an art studio in there but this thing is its own like art studio and i love it so much and it looks so cool we can just draw whatever we want and paint whatever we want and once we are finished with whatever we paint I'm, i don't know what i'm doing we can just print it off and boom we have our own picture to frame awesome and we also have some paint cans down here as well with a bunch of different colors very nice we also have some more paint accessories right here, paintbrushes, and we also have four kind of nice artistic paintings here too. Very abstract. I like them. Okay, moving on to pottery right here. We, this is so cool. So we have six different kind of clay, lumps of clay right here, and we can basically grab one of these and obviously we can place it on here. Um, we don't have to, but um, this is kind of like how we make and model clay. We'll tap it right here and it'll change into um, this kind of form. And then we'll put it inside of here, close the lid, 
it'll burn it up and um, obviously create this beautiful oh whoa look at that it is so pretty piece of art which is made out of clay of course we don't have to do all that we can just grab a piece of clay and tap it like two times and it'll change in but of course the fun of it is to do that but look at these these are really cool and then we can just pop it in here you can cook um and it makes these really nice clay pieces these are so cute ah caterpillar <laughs> And we have some nice accessories in here as well for um, playing with clay. Really cool. And finally, we have knitting right here or sewing. And we can grab some of these cool knit things. And obviously, we can put it under here. And it'll start knitting for us. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> it is now this hanging piece. So cool. Of course, we can just tap these as well. And it'll make these cute, like, hanging pieces. We got another one right here. Let's see what this is. Ooh, a rain cloud. These are so cute. We also have a hot glue gun. We have glue right here. We have this thing we can put clothes on. We also have these pieces of paper. We can make, like, origami right here as well cute little pieces some yarn silk kind of things right here and some scissors back there as well hiding awesome we also have a kind of coffee thing right here looks like it's been filtered um maybe for fresh ground coffee or for using coffee stains in like um art designs and we also have a teapot right here with some cute little cups and yeah looks so cute also have a bunch of kind of like clothing silk right here and if we tap this a few times we make boom a nice pair of clothes and we put them on here look at this these look great this is a very nice kind of artistic -y, like getting ready to sew or knit or do any sort of work of um, clothes right here i love them they're really cool Yes, moving on to the wallpapers and flooring, we have a beautiful pink wallpaper right here of um, nice roses or flowers or whatever they are. Um, we also have a nice kind of blue tiled flooring. We have this really... Oh, Zeke, what are you doing here? You already showed me your demonstration of that item. Okay, bye. <laughs> Yeah, a nice abstract um, artistic wall right here. Also the flooring as well. I really like that flooring with all the paint sludges on them. A nice kind of wallpaper right here, really pink and colorful. And we also have a kind of like more basic um, gray flooring right there too. Also have this white wood flooring, um, this starry sky um, wallpaper. Some of you guys might recognize that kind of style a little bit. And also this kind of like nice pinky um, pastel-y um, wallpaper as well. Honestly, not disappointing at all. These wallpapers and flooring are great. Okay, so I kind of messed around with the pack, designed a little bit. Um, honestly, guys, this pack is amazing. It is so good. You can really be creative with this pack and have your characters be creative in Tokoboka World as well with a lot of art projects, pottery, knitting and crafting, um, origami, um, digital work as well. So, so cool. Also, I did realize that this machine right here um, actually makes some of the pottery shiny. So if you just click on the clay um normally it just makes this but if you put it in the pot leave it in there for a few seconds take it out and boom it is super shiny now so it kind of like gives it this glossy look really nice um yeah um anyway guys i definitely would recommend this pack it is so fun adds a lot of nice stuff kind of like creates these cool new hobbies um in toka life world really really nice and i love this it kind of really elevates it and they executed it so well too so great a lot of furniture in this pack too which you can add to your already existing builds maybe make a little art room an art studio which is so cute you could also make kind of like a museum kind of thing which i did in this room right here a little bit um yeah anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed my kind of review and talk on this new pack um yeah anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next video good bye don't forget to subscribe.